This is the African Campfire Stories podcast. This podcast is dedicated to the telling of African history stories and events. Should you pick up anything we might get wrong or if you want to offer suggestions or if you just want to contact us, please leave us a comment on our website www.africancampfirestories.com. You can also leave a comment on our social media pages on Twitter African Campfire Stories and on Facebook African Campfire Stories. The podcast is also available on major streaming platforms including Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, YouTube and Player FM. A word before we start with today's episode. History Quickies is a new segment from African Campfire Stories. We realize the need on the internet for summarized information. For those interested in getting their stories in detailed form, check out our longer series and episodes. Please note that we reserve the right to One day do long form, that is detailed versions of the stories we will be covering under the History Quickie segment. Without further ado, here is today's episode. African Campfire Stories History Quickies Episode 1 Nubia vs. Egypt Ancient Nubia and ancient Egypt were neighbors. However, the exact nature of their relationship has baffled historians over the centuries. Ancient Nubia was located roughly where modern Sudan is today. Ancient Egypt, well, was located roughly where Egypt is today. Like all neighbors, these two ancient African states had traded amongst each other, fought and conquered each other, and generally influenced each other. Nubia is first mentioned in available Egyptian records from 2300 BC. It's possible, however, that these two countries had interaction before that date. Egypt has had the tendency of being oriented towards the region of Levant, or what is known as Asia Minor or the Middle East. Even today, that is still the case. Trade and interaction with Nubia opened Egypt to culture and trading goods from the depths of its southern border, the south of Black Africa. In the period from 2040 BCE to 1640 BCE, Egypt expanded into Nubia territory and controlled the trade routes through the building of military forts along the Nile River. In the region of Nubia that is today located in northern Sudan, ancient Egyptians called it Medje. Egyptians recruited Nubians into their army. They also used them as scouts, garrison troops, and later on as elite parliamentary police. Egyptians conquered Nubia at various times. Nubians In the time of the Nubian Kushite Empire, conquered Egypt and ruled Egypt from 744 BC to 656 BC, ruling as what historians now call the 25th Dynasty of Egypt. In 656 BC, however, the 25th Dynasty was kicked out of Egypt by the Assyrian Empire. The Assyrians then installed native Egyptians as puppet pharaohs, what is now known as the 26th Dynasty of Egypt. Later, Egyptian dynasties tried to erase the memory of the Black 25th Dynasty to make it seem as if it never existed. Some authors or commentators, especially on the internet, have made this action seem like it was driven by some form of Egyptian racism against the Black Anubians. Maybe that is true. After all, many ancient societies were surprisingly intolerant. But there is no historical evidence to support the fact that the attempt at erasing the memory of the 25th dynasty was driven by racism. Throughout history, and especially in the old days, human beings tried to forget about embarrassing or unpleasant events in their history. For instance, events like being conquered and colonized. Take this other unrelated example of an event that occurred during the rule of Egypt's 18th dynasty, which was largely considered as an embarrassment by ancient Egyptians. The native Egyptians attempted to erase history after the pharaoh Akhenaten replaced the traditional ancient Egyptian religion with the worship of Aten, that is, the sun disk. When the pharaoh died, the Egyptians tried to remove all traces of his religious adventure, including destroying his tomb, the temples, and statues he had built, and even erasing writings. Many people, more or less, know what happened to ancient Egypt. That is a subject that this podcast will also cover in the future. However, as regards to Nubia, not many people know what became of it. So here is a very brief rundown of what became of it. From 785 BCE to 350 CE, there was the kingdom of Kush. After the fall of Kush, Nubians created three separate Christian kingdoms. Those were Nobatia, Makuria, and Alodia. 
The last two lasted until approximately the turn of the 16th century. In the 14th and 15th centuries, the region of what is today modern Sudan began to be settled by Arab nomads. All the way into the 19th century, a large chunk of the region experienced Islamization. From 1820 to 1874, an Islamic Egyptian dynasty would rule Sudan. By 1885, the Mahdi revolt in Sudan, led by Muhammad Ahmad, had toppled Egyptian rule, creating the Caliphate of Omdurman. This caliphate would be taken over by the British in 1898, who would in turn govern Sudan and Egypt as a single state. On New Year's Day, 1st January 1956, Sudan proclaimed independence from Britain. This is all the time we have for today.